Well, four central Illinoisans will join a handful of people from across the state to be honored and highlighted as 2021 Red Cross heroes. Each person having a unique story showcasing their decision making as a life altering. Lynn Hureska joins the show now to talk about each of those local heroes and about what's coming up on Thursday. Thanks for joining us today, Lynn. Thanks for having me. Happy Heroes Week. Yes, it's been a long time coming. I know you guys have put a lot of effort into this. So really quickly, if they've been following along all month, you kind of know. But let's talk about our four heroes that we've got that we're highlighting. Absolutely. Well, we have Jennifer Erlinson, who is a registered nurse from OSF. Um, she walked past a coworker who had slumped in a chair and had the wherewithal to recognize that things weren't all well. And um, she, she saved his life with CPR and getting help. Then we have Jerry Lee Murphy Wiles, who is a gentleman who was waiting for the bus, um, noticed an elderly woman who had fallen and needed help and um, got, got the help she needed and another life saved. We also have Josh Raley, who um, happened to be watching when a car went up in flames. The other folks got out of the car, but they soon learned that there was a baby still remaining in the car. And Josh um, got that baby out just in the nick of time. Yeah, absolutely. And we have Roger King, who was out enjoying the Christmas lights and noticed a home on fire and uh, no help was there yet, so he took it upon himself to not only help um, an elderly woman and her caregiver out, they were both sound asleep, if it had not been for Roger's quick actions that could have ended very badly. Absolutely, these four Central Illinois just blow me away. I got to talk to each of them and just their stories. You can just feel it in your heart and you're just like, wow. People will do amazing things right here at home, and it's so great that you guys are taking the time to highlight them. So that kind of brings us to our next conversation, right? So you guys are having a Heroes event on Thursday. So tell me a little bit about what people can expect. We are. Well, this is a virtual event. Um, obviously, with the pandemic, we couldn't gather like we have in past years. So um, we will be gathered virtually and have the opportunity to hear um, high level um, reviews of not only our four Central Illinois hero stories, but 20 others from the state of Illinois who are also joining the ranks of our, our heroes this year. So we'll hear a little bit about um, each of them and have the opportunity to um, celebrate their, their heroic acts. That's amazing. Uh, well, Lynn, obviously the Red Cross plays a huge role here in Central Illinois and across the nation. How can people, our viewers, if they're listening at the moment, get involved with the organization. They can donate blood. I know is one of the big ticket things for you guys. What else can they do? Well, you know, you can go to redcross.org, which actually spells out all the different ways you can get involved with the organization. Um, the majority of our workforce, in fact, more than 90% of our workforce are volunteers. So we count on volunteers um, to um, collect that life-saving blood, to respond to disasters of all sizes and shapes, to support our military families, and to to teach people how to respond in emergencies, including things like CPR, first aid, water safety, pet first aid. Absolutely. <laughs> the list goes on and on. And you got some of those numbers there on your screen, too. We also have those posted online on CIProud.com. Well, Lynn, we've got about a minute or so left. So is there anything that you would like to talk about as far as the Red Cross's involvement? Anything about these local heroes? Well, you know, I've never met a hero that called themselves a hero. Um, I think one of the things that they all have in common is that they put themselves in a, in a place to be a hero by getting trained, by taking action um, instead of watching. So um, we yeah. celebrate these folks um, who won't call themselves heroes, but we will be honored to um, share their stories and celebrate them on Thursday. They are all very humble. That is for sure. Lynn, has been an absolute pleasure working with you this entire month, getting these stories out there for Central Illinoisans to view, and we greatly appreciate everything you do for the community. Well, and we are so grateful for the partnership with WMBD. Thank you. Of course, it's my pleasure. We have a lot of information on CIProud.com. We have it in the CI Hero section. We have it in the local news sections, top stories. Anywhere you go, you will find some information about the annual Heroes event that's happening on Thursday. I encourage you to go take a peek. But until then, CI Newsday will be right back after this.